Hi everybody, Heather Stargazer here to do a reading for whoever, whenever, wherever. I hope you're all doing well today. Ooh, looks like there's like an apology after some sort of argument. It really feels like somebody um, jumped into this situation, right? It looks like somebody's jumping in um, maybe to break up the fight a little bit or to uh, defend what's happening and um, someone's like apologizing, you know, all this is happening. Why are we fighting? Why is there a fight? Hmm. King of Cups. Hmm. Did King of Cups say something? Did King of Cups do something? Oh, offered a loving, heartfelt offer. It's like something of value, right? So here's this hair um, in the Queen of Coins, and she's offering she's offering maybe she's offering a job to this uh hopeless romantic here and um she's saying with this resource you know you don't have to you don't have to do it alone so now we have a queen and a king and a knight and a page and in the middle of all of that like generationally maybe there's um i don't want to say like necessarily a family but there's definitely um different levels of maturity, different levels of mastery going on here. And um, it's almost like this king sees this fighting happening and he steps in to kind of break it up a little bit. And by offering that little apology, that little bit of um, heartfelt sentiment, while well, we got the tower in reverse on the bottom here. Um, after doing that and making uh, it, taking that action, it frees this person who is now, um, you know, taking all that in emotionally and they're, they're like crossing, um, into a new, a new realm, a new threshold. See, here's, here's this water here and here's this Creek in the background. Um, so it's off, it's, it's like an offer, like now that this, uh, fighting has been quelled a little bit, you know, um, you will offer you the resources to be able to, um, defend yourself and you won't be doing it alone. Right now there's assistance. Now there's assistance. Who's, who's, um, helping you? Oh, well, you're helping because, um, whatever it is that you're doing isn't, uh, as successful. Wow. Look at that. You guys, seven, nine, and six of wands. The only cards that are out that aren't court cards are um, wands cards. You know, this has a lot to do with the passion uh, projects. This has a lot to do with creativity. This has a lot to do with what drives us. You know, um, what what is that king? Uh, what is that queen offering um, that has so helpful? Wow. Two more court cards. Now we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse and the King of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, it's like somebody who's really given somebody a hard time and um, withholding resources, withholding information, maybe um, being stubborn and not telling the truth about that. And this other king over here has got three kings out, right? This other king over here, he sees... Um, the effects of this he sees what has gone on and he really wants to help um some smooth things over and on the bottom that's that knight of wands <laughs> guys there's a lot of people doing a lot of things around here a lot of arguments a lot of fighting it seems like it was all pretty petty and um when the resources came in and the help came in to be able to help this situation um other people wanted to ensure that it was unsuccessful lovers wow right above that six that partnering maybe it's this king of cups and this queen of uh, pentacles you know you're making that choice well wow. king of swords in the reverse twice and the hermit you know that's a lot of um narcissism that leads us to this place that that's partnering with um making a choice to, uh, it's almost like making a choice to move away. See how the hermit is moving away from this. Hi.
moving away from this king of swords really taking an internal inventory right um to understand what what we know on our own what is known um and kind of m making a decision that's this lover's card making a decision to move away from um a little fly you got like a fly in the ointment right people who would dishonor people who would manipulate four of swords really need to take a time out and get some healing from this because it's really you know affecting um the ability to think straight the ability to rest the ability to operate smoothly right sun in reverse yeah man that king of swords whoever this person is really wants to um hide the light really wants to um propel forward in the darkness probably be a lack of information or manipulation of information it's caused a lot of fighting and that's why this uh king of cups is this overarching wow five of swords in the reverse yeah it really wants to um bring some closure to this look this this is humiliating whatever it is that um this misinformation these two bad bosses these two uh why well, her domineering rulers right whatever it is that those two are um trying to perpetuate trying to they're trying to perpetuate the fighting they're trying to keep people in this um this disarray right so that success cannot be achieved um but when that happens here comes the people here's page of wands again page of wands so now we have the knight of wands and the page of wands um there's a lot of people and they're uh, learning things, right? They're, they're moving forward. We're actively taking steps um, after, after a rest, right? We're making a choice to take a rest, to let it heal just a little bit so that we can see um, the truth of the situation that's being withheld from us uh, and the value, the true value here. It's like love and value, um, like resources are being offered but these um, two malevolent creatures, people, beings are standing in the way of this loving cup, of this loving action. And so we have to kind of go from a heart space into a uh, drive space, you know, moving forward, getting that information, making make it, oh, making an announcement. That's this page of wands I just heard, making an announcement about um, maybe the fact that we're, that we're leaving um, that it's not alone. There's two nines here. This is definitely um, the end of the line here. We're no longer subjecting ourselves to humiliation. We know now that um, it was just petty arguments that there was like this need to put the defenses down and people came to our assistance. People came to help. And um, when that happened, it really put the kibosh on what the um, King of Pentacles and the King of Swords in reverse, the King of Pentacles in reverse, like this greed, this misinformation, this, um, you know, manipulation, we made a choice to really look at that king of swords, to look at that person who's um, lying, manipulative, using facts against us, using facts against the situation, um, internalizing that into how do we really feel about that? What is the real perception of that? What are they really trying to do? And um, what they're trying to do is shine, hide the light, hide the light that comes from within you. So we're letting go of that burden. We're letting go of that um that fight right that standing on higher ground and then and then not giving up because now we know that we have emotional support people who back us we have people who will come to our rescue people who will speak up for us um, people who will help us out uh, in the ways that we need help and give us the love that we need and this is frustrating to this king of pentacles and this king of swords and reverse these reversed kings here because they're um losing out on the success that they tried to um, set someone else up for failure and in turn it winds up being their failure because this person's like no um, I'm not participating in this we are choosing not to participate in this you are choosing not to participate in this wow gate 22 grace a quality of behavior best suited in handling mundane and trivial situations the emotional spirit conditions how receptive others will be to mutation right and there we go with that um 
openness, sharing spirit with others. These people are coming to help you. You have, you have a lot of people backing you up. You have a lot of friends around you, a lot of people who care about you. Um, and there we go with that maturity, right? Directness, sensitivity, the enchanter, uh, charm school and second class ticket. Um, it's about rising up. This is about not giving in to the manipulators. That's the King of Swords in reverse twice here, right? The Enchanter, Charm School. Very, um, uh, I, want, I almost said perceptive, but he's, he's, he's manipulative in a way that will um, make you think something else, make you doubt your thoughts, make you doubt. Uh, it's, it's gaslighting. It's 100% gaslighting. Um, and they do it through this means that makes you feel good. Right. Um, and then, but you wind up feeling terrible in the end. Uh, it's about being direct, like being sensitive to how you're actually feeling, how things are making you feel King of Cups, Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, you know, um, and being very direct, which the, uh, King of, um, swords in reverse isn't he like i said he's he's a, like a, a mind um manipulator right but to be sensitive to that and instead of beating around the bush or gaslighting or being um you know um yeah manipulate manipulative we go to the direct be direct just like this queen of uh pentacles just like this king of cups here be direct, um, just like the hermit. Hermit represents Virgo. If you guys have any Virgo in your chart, you've ever hung out with a Virgo, Virgos are direct. Um, they're meticulous. They, they're they thorough. Um, they go into the uh, minute details of things and analyze them accordingly because they're ruled by Mercury. And that's what Mercury does. He is the messenger. So he's learning and he's the scribe. Um, and we need to be very direct in... Um, how we're approaching this and how we're handling this, not only with the people around us, but with ourselves. And that is the level of maturity, right? That's that maturity coming out and sharing with others. Let's get one more of these cards here. What can we do? What's the best advice? Can you give us some advice or some clarification? Some... Look at that. That's that keeper of the knowledge and that, that feels like the stingy, um, keeper of the knowledge that is stingy king of pentacles in reverse withholding information, king of swords in reverse. Um, and now we have this, uh, meditative state here, this, um, being real, you know, she's not wearing any clothes. She's completely, um, au naturel right? In this natural state of um, imagination and meditation. Let's read, let's read this. First, we'll read the 10 about this um, guy withholding information, you know, knowledge, research, knowledge, knowing the facts, being uh, prepared, forewarned. As the biggest library, as the biggest library if it is in disorder is not as useful as a small but well arranged one. So you may accumulate a vast amount of knowledge, but it will be of far less value than a much smaller amount if you have um, not thought it over for yourself. Author Schopenhauer. So um, yeah, it's like having all of this information does you no good if it's disorganized, messy, being withheld from you. It's about knowing, um, knowing the truth, having the correct information and knowing what to do with that, right? Part of the process of assessing a situation is the use of intuition and psychic gifts, but some circumstances may merit a more analytical approach. Better being, um, informed and armed with a greater understanding of the facts and background to any situation might provide a stronger basis from which to make a better decision. It appears that the character in this scene has dedicated the necessary due diligence and is armed with a substantial amount of information, but therein is a question of how much may be too much. 
one can become overwhelmed and tied down in detail, suffocated by the volume or unnecessary diversions at the risk of overanalyzing or not seeing the forest through the trees, right? So there comes that meditative state now. Um, dreams, meditation, spiritscape, right? Some colors exist in dreams that are not present in the waking spectrum. Uh, Terry Golomets. Our dreams provide us with alternative reality. Limitless and unfettered, we are free to soar with angels or sink to the depths of demons. To imagine, to create, to escape the norm, to wonder and ask, what if? And awaken, refreshed, and question, why not? A gesture rests atop a magical box prop. Her costume, a nightcap and slippers. It is now a time for rest and escape. It's this four of swords. Right? Take that rest. Um, around her float magical dream catcher nest, nets, which capture her drifting elusive imagination. Climbing up the adjacent poles are a variety of creatures, each symbolically associated with dreams in different cultures. Be wary of dreams and interpreting them falsely. They may have true visions or merely mirages of the truth that will send us uh, further from reality. And there we go with that... Um, what are we doing with the information that we have? What is um, what is the information that's being withheld to us? You know, uh, there's that grace, that um, maturity, that sensitivity, that enchanter, right? And being able to be um, open and direct with ourselves, sharing with others, those who would wish to help us, those who would um, wish to find out the truth here to shine that light the light of the sun that's being kind of withheld here um, and doing that with a sense of um, dignity right it's so of humiliation humility um, we are offered this sense of um, trust we are offered these resources we're, we're offered these actions people having our back because they believe in us they believe in um, what we're doing and they want they want to let, uh, support people who are in the right, who are coming from the right place, right? And um, the hermit definitely is because he's coming from a place of within. So um, mind the gap, I guess, is the, you know, know which way you're going. All right. I hope that this was helpful for you. Um, I hope that you got something out of it. And I hope that you'll come back and see me again tomorrow. Thanks for hitting the like and subscribe buttons, guys.